Just a quick thank you to Rucket Sports for providing some of the equipment in this video. For more information, click the link down below. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for any time, you know I talk a lot about pitching grips. I was a former professional pitcher. Uh, my sinker was ranked number one with the San Diego Padres organization out of all the pitchers. Also, my slider also ranked number one out of the whole organization of pro pitchers. So I talk about those pitches a lot. I talk about a bunch of other different pitches on this channel as well. And I know a lot of you guys like those videos. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is actually how to master any pitch that you're going to be throwing. So whether you're trying to incorporate a new pitch into your arsenal or you've got one that you're just trying to get better, these are a few things that you can do to really work on and master those pitches to make them great because you really don't want to throw mediocre pitches. If you're going to have a pitch and bring it to the game, you want it to be good. You want it to be a swing and miss pitch. You don't want guys to be uh, crushing it. You know, you have more mistakes than good pitches with it and guys are just crushing it across the yard. No, you want to have it down and be more consistent than not with it so you can get batters out. These are the things that you need to do to work on that. First thing is you got to play with your grip, right? Even though it's one pitch that you're trying to throw, let's say, for example, the curveball, you can work on different grips with the curveball. You can be inside the horseshoe. You can be outside of the horseshoe. Uh, you can be on this seam right here. There's many different grips for every single pitch. More importantly than the grips, in fact, is actually your, release, uh, your wrist angle at release point. So a lot of times, if you've got a good curveball grip, but you're releasing that curveball like this and getting around it, it may not break the way you want it to break. So you really want to focus on your wrist angle at release point. No matter whether you're trying to throw a curveball, a uh, slider, a sinker, okay, your wrist angle at release point is going to be different for all those pitches. So really paying attention to your wrist angle, finding the grip that works, and then paying attention to your wrist angle at release point. The third thing you want to do is practice your flips, okay? And flips are just flipping that pitch in nice and easy. So again, if you're working on a curveball, you don't want to be out there airing it out full speed all the time. You can just work on getting that spin, flipping it in, right? Finding that flip, trying to get that tight rotation, seeing the spin on that ball, seeing how it's spinning, trying to get that, uh, if you're trying to throw a 12-6, that top to bottom spin. If you're trying to throw a, a sinker, trying to get the right spin on that sinker, you know, just really flipping it in nice and easy, finding the spin of your pitch. The best way to find the spin of your pitch is by feeling it. And again, just doing these nice, easy flips, you know, again, not super hard, just really paying attention to your feel and what's coming of that feel from the spin. The best thing about doing these flips is you don't really have to throw. You know, I wouldn't even consider this a throwing day. So if you have a day where you're trying to recover and you're not trying to throw, that may be a good day to do your flips because you're not really putting any effort into these throws. You know, you're just working on your wrist angle at release point, your grips, the spin, you know, so it's really not putting any stress on your arm hardly at all. So this is a great way to work on your pitches, even on times when you're trying to recover or having a down day, an off day, whatever it is. So another great reason why flips are so good for you. Lastly, when you found your best grip, you've mastered your uh, wrist angle at release point, you've practiced many reps of flips, then you wanna try to bring it into more full speed. You know, you can start with flat, flat ground, you know, throwing it with a partner 60 feet away. You could even back it up a little bit uh, further if you want to, if that helps you. You just got to pay attention to how it feels and then try to bring it into the bullpen. Once you get it down in the bullpen, that's when you try to bring it into the game. What I see a lot of guys doing is they go, oh, I'm going to try to throw a curveball. They play catch with it one day and sometimes that same day they bring it into the game. That's not how you want to do it. You want to go through the process, really try to develop this pitch. Again, you want to master the pitch before you bring it into the game. You don't want to throw a mediocre pitch out there in the game and get crushed all around the yard. Develop it first, work on your grip, work on your wrist angle at release point, work on your flips, get it on a flat ground, get it in the bullpen, get it on the field and start dominating those hitters. Guys, if you don't know already, I'm doing a giveaway with Rucket Sports and I've done six videos with them. And what you have to do is watch all six videos, find the secret keyword in each of those videos, go over to Instagram, follow Rucket Sports, and then DM them the six secret keywords. The keyword for today, the secret keyword is flips, okay? So now you got the one for today. Go find the other five, head over there, DM them for your chance to win. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up down below. Uh, click here, click the logo right here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I got more good stuff coming. Click the bell notification right next to it. Go watch these videos, they're good ones. Hop down in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see in future videos because I got you. I'll talk to you down there.